Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft! So in the last few days I tried to build a 7 segment display and I nearly finished it. It's, uh, it fe features extremely low delay as you can see here. It can count uh, very fast so the f uh, it can count um, the fastest uh, pulse it can handle is 4 ticks so it can uh, even count half seconds easily. And yeah, while trying to build this and trying to make it as with as low delay as possible, I figured some very cool new inventions which I will show you today. And when this display is finished, this will be the next piston invention. So, um, what you can see here is the instant falling edge transportation. So, when I switch this lever, both pistons are instantly deactivated. When I switch it back, this one is instantly activated, but the other one needs delay. Uh, is delayed because, as you can see, here this is the signal line, and it's made of piston repeaters, and they have no delay when the uh, at the falling edge, which can be very useful for many different um, redstone creations. For example, TNT cannons and everything where you need instant activation and it can be useful for example computers and so on. But I developed it even further. Mm -hmm. So um, as you can see uh, it's only one way. So the first thing I tried to make is an instant rising edge transportation and this is the next one. It needs time to uh, pull them but it instantly activates the piston. And you can see all the pistons are activated at once. Yeah, it's uh, just the uh, graphics which don't automatically update at once, but yeah, the piston does. And here are the instant falling edge inverter. So, yeah, you look at these pistons. When I switch the lever off, they are instantly switched both. But when I switch it on, there's a uh, one tick delay. So, now it's instant and now it's there's the delay. And this is the instant rising edge inverter. And here is finally the instant signal transportation system. I'm very proud of it and I've needed much time to figure it out, but mm -hmm. I finally found a way to instantly transport a uh, signal. So, both pistons are instantly activated. But the this piston here gets a signal from all this way all around the other ones. So um, wait, I will uh, just uh, put a line of re repeaters at the side of this so to show you how long this way actually is. So now it's finished. I've made a, a parallel line of repeaters, and here you can see. Um, that's the piston here, which is powered by the repeaters, is very delayed. And yeah, it's much, much slower than the instant transportation system. Yeah, it can even handle pulses uh, if they are not faster than yeah this 5 tick clock. Um, yeah, that's the fastest pulse it can handle without problems. Uh, yeah, let's just start. Ah, uh, Fraps is lagging. Ah, uh, fucking Fraps. What the heck? So, uh, yeah. So, you can see working fine. So, and this one is delayed. So, uh, now I will just show you how the small ones are built and if you are interested in, I will just also show you how the instant transportation system is built. So, let's start with the simplest one. This is the falling edge transportation. So let's say you have input from here. Then you have just to, be, uh, to dig a hole here, put a redstone torch in it, and a sticky piston above. A block here, and this is the output. And it's just um, instantly 
and detects a falling edge of the input and repeats the signal. But the uh, um, rising edge is delayed by one tick, just as in a more normal repeater. Um, so, let's go to the next one. So, here is how to build the instant rising edge transportation. It's a bit more complicated, but it's also uh, quite easy. So, place a piston, then dig three blocks away, especially the one under the below the piston is important. Sometimes you may forget, but then it won't work. So, place a redstone wire here, then one here. And stones like this. And now place a cobblestone in front of the sticky piston. And it's finished. So let's just test it. Yeah, you can see it if I put two pistons here. They are both instantly um, um, extended, but this repeated one needs a uh, one tick delay to um, contract. So, let's go to the next one. So, here is how to build the instant falling edge inverter. So, as usual, here's the input. And this time, you have to place a redstone torch directly uh, beside the piston and you're done. It instantly detects a falling edge. Just to show you two pistons here a falling edge is instant, the other one is delayed so here is how to build the most complicated one that is the rising edge inverter so here is the input place redstone torch and uh, redstone wire like this then Dig two blocks away and place a sticky piston so that it faces down. And now a repeater to the side. Uh, yeah, and the output is here. And a stone has to be placed like this. So let's shortly test it. It instantly detects a uh, rising edge, but it has a delayed uh, falling edge. Yeah, so it, it's even faster than a redstone torch. Um, I've not tried to build a complete inverter which uh, instantly detects both edges, um, but yeah, it's it's of course also possible, but it's uh, more complicated. And yeah, now I will show you how to build the instant transportation system if you are int not interested in just skip it but it's um, yeah it's uh, very useful for many things i think and yeah it's a bit more complicated as you can see here yeah but for the benefit of uh, instant uh, signal transportation first you should know how the system is working so this area here and uh, this redstone thing here just transforms the signal into two short pulses so, a um, rising edge is uh, transformed into a short pulse here and a falling edge uh, into a short pulse uh, on the top. Or maybe I said it wrong, just look at the repeaters. So, a rising edge is on the uh, bottom and a falling edge is on the top. And now perhaps it's again lagging, so uh, now it's better. Here are um, repeaters. With which instantly um, reset themselves. That's important because otherwise you could uh, not transport pulses. Because uh, yeah, it would just need all the time. Every repeater would not need one tick to re reset. But the, uh, these are resetted all one tick after this uh, signal um, 
is started. And here's the output unit which um, features uh, instant yeah, uh, processing these uh, inputs here into an output which has yeah, the same setting as the input. So, let's start building. So, here is how to build the input processing unit. So, let's say here's the input. Then, just dig a hole like this. and place redstone wire like I do. So this empty one is also important. And so. There have to be two sticky pistons here. Then two diagonal holes with uh, redstone torches in it. And then the input processing unit is finished. So, here are the two signal lights. Just test it. Yeah, it's working. So, here is how to build a repeater in the signal line with no delay. It's also not too complicated to build. Yeah, and I made a mistake. And uh, no, I didn't. It just forgot some blocks. So, now the repeater is finished. So, here is finally how to build the output processing unit. So, here's the end of the signal line. Place repeaters and torches like this. And dig a hole here and place the sticky piston. Ah. A stone in it. And now you're nearly finished. Just put a redstone wire here. Three wires here. And then you need something to power this side here, and that's just the repeater and the redstone torch. So, it's finished, and the output uh, is on this side, so please do not put anything here. That might lead to some issues, but you can uh, put the output anywhere on these three redstone 
uh, wires here. Ah, uh, so final test. Oh, yeah, something went wrong. Yeah, I just forgot to, to put a block here, and now it should work. Yes, so it's working finally. Just remember to put, place this block in front of the other stick piston. Yeah, and now we have an instant signal transportation system. So, goodbye and see you next time with this display. I just figured out a small improvement. If you place additional redstone wire, which is connected to these two pistons, uh, you can even handle much faster pulses. So, and it works even with a 3 tick delay, as you can see here. So, now it can handle everything beside uh, very fast delays and uh, the fast pulses. Um, just showing you where to put the redstone. So, one here. And the other one here. As you can see, it can, yeah, that may not be too fast, but it can handle quite fast pulses.